really <laughs> cool video of Superman and Batman. Heroes. Those would have been the tales of legendary heroes that we've all grown up with. It was the original Superman intro. Heroes have fascinated mankind since the earliest days. And one of the earliest recorded stories of heroism was the Odyssey. It was written by a Greek poet, Homer, 800 years before the birth of Christ. And it detailed, the chron it chronicled really the journey of Odysseus, also known as Ulysses to the Romans, on his 10-year <laughs> journey and his heroic feats on his way home from the wars. But this is a story of myth and legend. What about real life heroes? Well, those of you who were here the last time that I spoke will recall I told you the story of an honest to goodness, 100% genuine, all-American hero, Lenny Skutnik. In 1978, he dove into the frozen Potomac River to save a drowning victim of an air crash. It was quite dramatic. He was, uh, he was recognized for his heroism by none other than President Ronald Reagan in his State of the Union address. More recently, we've seen some heroism with the inimitable <laughs> Diana Nyad, <laughs> who achieved the goal of a lifetime on her fifth attempt over the span of 38 years, she managed to swim from Havana, Cuba, all the way to Fort Lauderdale, I'm sorry, Key West, Florida. 111 miles through jellyfish and shark infested waters <laughs> without the benefit of a shark cage. She did that by averaging 52 strokes a minute for 53 straight hours. That truly is an heroic feat. Well, these are famous people or people who've done things of note. But what about the people that we consider heroes in our own lives? Everyone in this room has someone that they look up to as a hero. Well, how do you decide who's a hero? How do you define that? Well, I think a really good definition would be a person of exceptional qualities who has had a profoundly positive impact on your life, one who you admire and wish to emulate. Now, using those guidelines, I can tell you that in my life, I've had two heroes neither one of which was rich or famous or swung from one country to another as far as I know. First hero I had was in early childhood. And this person was as smart as Einstein, had the strength of Hercules, the heart of a lion, and the wisdom of Solomon. And it's not hard to guess who that person may have been. For a young boy, it was my dad. He truly was the patriarch of the family. And he wasn't just my hero. He was the go-to guy for almost everyone in the family. He knew everything. He could fix anything. He could make anything. He was the man. So in 1989, at the age of 58, when he had a sudden heart attack and died, that left us all really wondering what now. Most especially my mom, who for the most part, lived 41 years in his shadow. He did everything. He took care of everything. And mom sort of floundered for a couple of years. She was in her mid to late 50s at the time. And my brother and sister and I tried to fill in the gap and do a lot of things that dad had done. Well, at about two years into it, my mother made an incredible decision. She decided that she wasn't going to rely on her children to run her life for her. And she just seized control, and she changed everything. And so here we are 20-something years later. <laughs> My mom is 82 years young. Here she is kayaking with her boyfriend. This is the third boyfriend she's had in 24 years. She's outlived the last two. My mom has the best social life of anyone I have ever met in my life. She's never home. Mondays, she goes to IHOP with her singles group. Four days a week, she takes aerobics classes. Thursdays, she volunteers at a local hospital. Friday nights are for going out 
for dinner and dancing. She loves to dance music from the 40s. She has traveled all around the United States, all around the world. She lost her job two years ago. She had retired many years ago, but she took another job as a co check girl in, our, in an Italian restaurant just because she wanted to be around people. She's my hero because she made the decision that she wasn't just going to survive, she was going to live every day until she dies. And I mean, really live. I think that's incredible. So, yes, she is my hero. Both my heroes, my mother and my father. If you had told me my mom was going to be my hero someday, I would have said you're nuts because I never would have chosen her years ago. But my mother has turned out to be really an incredible person. Now, I've told my mom that she's my hero. My dad always probably suspected that I looked upon him as a hero, but I never voiced the words to him. And I never got the opportunity. I missed my chance. So I have a simple question for all of you. In your lives, who are your heroes? Who are the people that have affected you profoundly and permanently for the better? People that you wish to emulate. Think about that for a minute. And more importantly, have you told them? They've done amazing things for you just by being your hero. You owe it to them. Because you know what? Life is short. And if you haven't told them, why not? Take the opportunity. Do it now while you have the chance. Mr. Dosman.